Yeah. Are you going to talk about breastfeeding? Breastfeeding? Mm-hmm. We spoke about breastfeeding. Are you going to talk about it? Um... Hello. It seems a pretty big, big, big topic. Are you filming right now? <laughs> I don't know how. I, I wouldn't know how to approach it. I wouldn't know how to approach it. To be honest. Because, um, of the kind of negative stim stigma around formula, what's in formula, um. You know, and that, that kind of put me off. So I was like, okay, well, it doesn't sound very attractive or, or intriguing to use. So I thought, well, knowing that a lot of women have had some, a lot of women can have difficulty breastfeeding. I've also, I knew that. And I also knew that they also overcome it and they continue to breastfeed. So I was like, well, if they, they can do it, I can do it. I had a friend who she, um, she breastfed her baby, purely breastfed her baby. Uh, she purely breastfed her baby for two and a half years and that really inspired me, you know, I was like, good on you, you know, that's amazing. And because I was kind of surrounded within, within that environment, I had another friend, she purely breastfed, um, another friend who was struggling with breastfeeding, like it was really hard for her, but she persevered and now she's still breastfeeding her baby, her baby's one and a half. So I was kind of already around that women who were breastfeeding, so I was getting, I was feeling quite inspired by that. Um, so I think your environment, it also depends on your environment. Maybe you're, uh, when we make a decision, maybe you're grouped with women who already formula feed or do a bit of both or, you know, um, and, and then that kind of alters your, or has a, uh, an influence on the decision that you make well, of whether you're going to breastfeed or not. Anyways, I continue to breastfeed for several reasons. So the first time, the first reason was initially because formula didn't seem, it didn't seem like it was, it, it really gives much benefit. I just didn't feel comfortable giving her formula, especially because she was really, really small when she was young. She was um, full term, but she was premature size. She was tiny. So looking at her, I was like, I want to give her the best I could possibly give, give her. And if that's breast milk, I'm going to give her that. So I already had that mindset. And then um, after that, I was like, okay, so my husband was, was because it was difficult, it was very painful trying to get her to latch and you know, we, we went through a bit of a journey on that and also she was cluster feeding so she would feed all the time, especially at night time she would feed from like 7pm to like 1 in the morning non-stop, my husband had to literally take her sometimes for a walk so that I can have a bit of a break so it was really hard but um I did persevere, even though my husband said, okay, well, we can do mixed feeding, you can do a bit of formula, a bit of breast milk. The reason why I kind of didn't decide to do that was because I thought it would be even more tiring. Because then, now, then we'd have to teach her how to use the bottle. Then we'd have to make sure she doesn't get confused between the nipple and the, and the bottle. Who's the bitch over? And then, and then we'd have to... And then we would have to... Um, Sterilize the bottles, and I just felt like it was gonna be too much work. And if I'm gonna be with her all the time, if I'm gonna be with her all the time, then uh, I don't want to have to be sterilizing bottles and cleaning them and doing all sorts. I just want to just burr on the boob and done. Um, so I was like, no, don't want to do it. So we just, it just, anyways, we, it naturally just became a routine of breastfeeding, and I felt like it was just a lot easier. And then as well, because I persevered. She grew, she got stronger, so therefore uh, she was able to latch better. Her mouth was bigger, so she could latch better. The pain stopped, and we just got on with it. So, yeah, bit of waffling, but essentially that's the reason why. I had already decided that I was going to breastfeed and try my best to make it work. I was around women who were supportive and inspired me, so I just got on with it. And I made it about her. It wasn't so much about, even though, trust me, I had my meltdowns. I had my meltdowns, especially when I was painful. But um, it was, I just had to look at her and go, and just continue breastfeeding, you know? And I feel, in my opinion, it's just a lot easier than having to sterilize bottles and like, all that stuff. Um, so what would be your advice to women who are maybe pregnant or who are thinking about how to raise their kids? And making that choice mm. about whether to bottle feed or to, whether to use formula or to breastfeed mm. what would you say to them i think research helps so research into formula the benefits of formula 
and the benefits of breastfeeding and the pros and cons of both. I don't think there's any cons really mainly in breastfeeding, but um, and essentially just unless you've got a medical condition, unless there's an actual reason why you can't breastfeed, like literally, I've got a friend who's got epilepsy, for example, she may not be able to breastfeed because it could actually be dangerous for the baby. That's a, a very good medical reason why she can't breastfeed. I know another woman who had um, plastic surgery on her on her breasts, and then she, after she had her baby, she tried everything to breastfeed, but the milk was just not producing, and she had to go into formula. So unless you've got a medical reason why you can't breastfeed, then I I feel like I want to inspire you to go ahead and breastfeed, to try it, persevere, and you will see that it, when it makes your life easier, uh, you get an amazing bond with your baby and you know you're giving them the best thing. Um, um, but just know that if breastfeeding is hard for you in the beginning, it won't stay that way. It will get easier. Um, and you won't even remember how hard it was. You just get on and be like, what? It was hard in the beginning? I can't even remember. Um, so yeah. Super. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Uh, yeah,